Today we're joined by everyone's favorite Emmy-winning college football expert and ESPN game day host, Kirk Herbstreet. Thanks for being with us, Kirk. How are you? Why do you suppose a lot of people are saying that they love college football now even more than the NFL? Uh, it's, the, it's the passion. It, it's the, the pageantry. It's the, the emotion. Uh, it's being on a campus. It's, it's the marching bands. It, it, it's just it, it, a lot of people just are, are alums of schools and it takes them back to when they were in school and they bring their kids back and uh, it's family, it's, it's tradition. Uh, when you add in the, the tempo of the game and the high scoring of the game, uh, people seem to love it. And every year it seems to get more and more popular. Well, we're excited for college football around here. And which team should we be looking at in the national championship? Well, I, you know, I think it's a wide open year. Uh, it, there, any team uh, might be able to get hot and, and, uh, and make a run. I mean, you could look at some of the front runners. Clemson uh, is, is a team that a lot of people believe could have a great year. Florida State uh, could, could maybe uh, compete with them in their own conference. Uh, looking in the, in the Big 12 area, I think a lot of people like Oklahoma this year to have a great year. I personally think TCU could be a surprise pick and, and maybe get to the playoff this year coming out of the Big 12. Uh, Alabama and LSU are expected to have big years. So, you know, there's about 12 to, to 15 teams uh, that, that if things fall in line and they stay healthy, they, they could ultimately make a run and, and win their conference and, and give a, get a shot at the playoff. And how are our Texas teams looking? Well, I, I, I think it starts uh, with TCU. I, I think they have a chance to, uh, to be in a position to compete with Oklahoma. Uh, they've got enough of a veteran team. They were injury prone a year ago. And so many players got some game reps and experience. Uh, so a lot of those guys are now back. Uh, they've got a quarterback uh, that, that I think has a chance to, to have a great year this year as well. So I, I think they're, they're in, a, in a good spot. I think Texas is a great story. I know a lot of Longhorns fans have, have kind of had a sad face over the last few years. And these first couple years with Charlie Strong have not necessarily gone the way they had hoped. Uh, but I think year three will be a very, very good year, and it will give Longhorns fans an idea of what's to come with Charlie Strong. He's done a great job of recruiting, and I think this is the year you start to see uh, that pay off for them. So I, I, would, I would definitely put those teams up there. And, of course, Houston with Tom Herman, uh, they've done an amazing job this, uh, the last uh, year or two as well. And I think uh, this year Houston's going to be another uh, fast-paced offense with a chance to score a lot of points.